This is so corny. And you're about to do this it. This is so corny. And you're about to do it, Kelly. What's up? My name is Lamb. This is Lamb Nation back at it again with another great video. In today's video, I will be talking about how to make passive income. I'm talking about easy money. I'm talking about legal money. Passive income. The number one way that I like to create passive income is from becoming a landlord. So to a lot of people that sounds scary and I've made videos on it in the past, but it is actually very easy. So if you know the steps and process of becoming a homeowner, being a landlord is just, you know, a couple of extra steps after that. So what you want to do is when you purchase your first or second home, you want to buy a multifamily property. So two to four units is what typically lenders are going to give you. So you want to start off with multiple units and you want to go less and less. So let's say you start off with four, you start off with two and then you go to one or you start off with two and then you go to one. You don't want to go to one and try to go to two. The reason behind this is because it is easier for mortgage lenders to understand that, hey, you were in a side by side duplex or over and under duplex and you're getting tired of the neighbors um, yelling and you can hear them and it's like, hey, now, I'm more established and I can afford a single family home. So you always want to start off with a multifamily and then go to a single family. You do the regular home buying process, you close on your duplex, and the first thing you wanna do before you move furniture in, before you get your house situated, the first thing you want to do is you want to start creating that passive income. And this can be a lengthy process, so you wanna do that first. So. What you want to do is what I did is I went on Zillow Rental Manager and whatever other websites they have, reach out to friends, family and find a good tenant. So it's really not that hard. Find a good tenant, vet them out, make sure, you know, fill them out. And if you get a weird feeling from them, a weird vibe, just go with your instincts, write up the applications and see if they would be a good fit for you. Look at their incomes. Uh, credit history if they have any evictions foreclosures stuff like that and just talk to them and get to know them and kind of just vet them out and see if they can pay their bills so what i did is i got a standard rental contract you know if you have rented homes before it's going to be the same rental contract that you sign it's just you're going to be the role of the landlord so you can get this on like legal legal zoom or rocket lawyer or any other website you know standard contract I got mine off of, um, I think Rocket Lawyer. So I don't, you know, I don't even know if the contract is that effective. I haven't been sued yet. So I mean, it is what it is. So I've been a landlord for a year and a half. I, you know, I did my proper documentation. I vetted them out. I checked their credit scores, and everything has been going fine. So a lot of worries that people have about being landlords, it just has a lot to do with being prepared. So you want to find a good property where it's conducive. You're going to be living you know, next to the people who are paying you rent. So you don't want to, you don't want to run out to just any and everybody. You don't want to be desperate. You want to have cash in the bank. When you buy this house, you want to be able to afford the mortgage payments without, without the renters, without the renters, you want to be able to afford it without them. So that way, if you got to, if they're trashing the house, you can get rid of them. That way you don't have to be desperate and put anybody in there. You can't pay the mortgage. So let's say you have a let's say you have a $1,500 mortgage and your tenants bring you in $1,200. So now you're living for $300 a month. That's $1,200 in passive income. It's very easy. Um, I've been doing doing it, like I said, 15 months. Um, I've had to deal with repairs and st issues like that. I've de deal with a lot of from pests, the leaks, the roof leaks, kitchen leaks, ants you know I, you know late late rent any and everything i've dealt with it and it's really not that bad it's not that serious and it's like if you have your regular home your own house you're gonna have issues too so if you already got it you gonna have issues at your house you have issues at day on day side day house i mean you might as well get some money from it too it's the easiest way of passive income you buy a house anyway just buy two units three units or four units so this has been my video. If you want me to go into any details to break down, um, like I said, the contracts or how I vetted people out, how I found tenants, um, what kind of repairs I had to do. If you want me to go into more detail, I can just comment below, but um, it's really not that hard. It's not that hard, steady income and a good way to build wealth. Thank you for watching.
This is the second I don't time get... you stopped, paused, and you knew in your head that the shit was corny, right? Is that your conscious talking to you? 